welcome to Sarah's Stamping Machine. Today we're going to be playing with colouring our embossing folders and I'm going to be using this 3D embossing folder of the month from Spellbinders which is this really lovely kind of textured citrus fruit embossing folder and I've embossed that using a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of watercolour cardstock. And the reason I want to use watercolour cardstock is because I want to play with my Karen markers. I've, I've kind of been playing with these for a few weeks now because there's so much to learn with them. And so I'm trying to use them as much as possible. So I'm going to use them for this panel and I'm going to colour the whole panel. And the nice thing about these is that I can mix the colours. So I'm going to touch these two tips together. So I've got the gold at the top and the pale orange at the bottom. And then if I colour, it's going to go from that darker gold colour into the pale orange colour. I think I've blended the two colours for a bit too long um, because I've actually really wanted it to go from the darker colour around the outside of the segment to the lighter colour inside the segment. But you can see really it's taken a couple of segments to get down to that lighter colour. But actually, I'm kind of happy with this lighter colour as it is anyway. It's not as pale as I thought it was going to be. So I don't think I actually need the blending. And then I might just do a little blending back around the other way, just so that it doesn't look strange. Because obviously this light one with this dark one looks a bit strange. So I'm going to just add a bit of colour to the, cu to the couple that are next to it. So it just kind of blends out and looks a bit different. I've just kind of gone with the colourless blender between all those segments just to make it so that it's not quite such a stark white between. So it's kind of blending through that orange a little. So I'm going to colour the whole panel in the same way. So I'm going to have limes, lemons, oranges, maybe even pink grapefruits. So then there's my finished coloured panel and I love how bright that is. So I want to make a few cards with this. So I'm going to start off with a couple of really easy ones. So I'm going to cut this at three inches down and then I'm going to cut it across at four and a quarter. So now I've got two three by four and a quarter inch pieces and then this leftover piece. So I'll pop that to one side for a second. And then for these ones I'm going to make really simple cards. To be fair they're all going to be simple but for these ones I'm just going to use these whole panels. I want some heat embossed sentiments so I'm going to use my better press for this because I really like this set. But I'm only heat embossing it so you could heat emboss just whatever sentiments you want to use. So I've got this piece of black cardstock that's big enough to fit my plate and this plate is the You Are Everything Sentiments. You can see I make these in batches and then just keep them but I don't have enough of the white on black which is what I want for today. So I really like this because you can just put it through once and you get all those sentiments and the dye that comes with it cuts them out really nicely as well. I've got a couple of hot foil plates like that as well and it just makes everything so much easier. So I'm just popping that on there and then I'm going to put this face up on here. And then like I said, I'm not worried about the letterpress look on this one. I'm going to do heat embossing with it so I'm just going to ink this up with my embossing pad. And then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. So then I've got that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on screen. But it has actually impressed a little bit into the black, even though that's not a letterpress cardstock. But then I'm going to cover it with my white embossing powder. And I'm heat embossing with the Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder from Wow. So it picks up all that lovely detail in the text. So then I've got this sheet full of sentiment. And where there's that slight letterpress to the cardstock, the melted embossing powder kind of goes level with the cardstock rather than raising up, so that gives a really nice effect as well. But like I say, you could heat emboss any sentiment really. So then I can use the coordinating die to cut that out and it'll cut out all the different sentiments individually. So then here are all my sentiments. And then I'll use some on today's card and the rest will go back in here, ready for next time I need a sentiment. And it also makes really good use of that cardstock because hardly any is wasted. So then I've got my two panels, I'm going to back them with some 
black cardstock that's just a bit bigger. Now I can glue these panels to four and a quarter by five and a half inch card fronts. And this way, all of that work that I've done in terms of colouring this panel is really going to stretch over a few cards. And then I'm going to use this happy birthday on one of them, maybe just because on the other. So I'm going to pop some fine strips behind my sentiments. So that's those two done. So then for this one, I've cut a piece of cardstock, black cardstock that's half an inch smaller than my card front, so it's five by three and three quarter inches. So this was our spare strip. So I've cut a piece that is three and five eighths wide. Then I need one and a half inches for my sentiment. So then I'm gonna just cut a strip from here for the bottom of here. So I hot foiled this sentiment in black using this Be Bold Glimmer Sentiments hot foil set. But again, you could stamp it, you could hot heat emboss it, depending on what tools you have in your stash. So then I'm just going to glue these pieces together. I ended up cutting this bottom piece to an inch. And then I'm going to use foam pads to pop up my sentiment. Now I'll add that to my card front. So then all that I've got left is this strip here and this little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this strip and I'm going to cut a swallowtail end in it. So then that's the only bit that's going to get wasted off my whole entire panel. And then the hot foil of the month club for this month is this set of cute summer sentiments and you also get the die to cut all those out so that's a really useful little set I've just used that and I'm using the hello friend from there so I'm just going to make this really simple little card just to finish off that panel so this piece of black cardstock is just the same as the panels that we used in the first card so an inch smaller than my card front, three and a quarter by four and a half inches. And then I'm gonna add on my sentiment pieces with some foam strips. And then I've got these nice bright enamel dots. These are the warm and cozy ones from Ultimo. I'm just gonna add a few to this. So now we've got all four of today's cards. I really hope you enjoyed creating them with me. I really enjoyed the process of colouring the embossing folder. And then it's nice to get the four cards out of the one panel. I think they make really cute little cards. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.